legend you are about to hear is true. Only the needle should be changed to protect the record. This is the countryside. My name is St. George. I'm a knight. Saturday, July 10th, 8.05 p.m. I was working out of the castle on the night watch when a call came in from the chief. A dragon had been devouring maidens. Homicide. My job? Slay him. You call me, chief? Yes, the dragon again. Devouring maidens. The king's daughter may be next. Mm Mm-hmm. You got a lead? Oh, nothing much to go on. Say, did you take that forty-five automatic into the lab to have them check on it? Yeah, you were right. I was right. Yeah, it was a gun. 8.22 p.m. I talked to one of the maidens who had almost been devoured. Could I talk to you, ma'am? How are you? I'm St. George, ma'am. Homicide, ma'am. Want to ask you a few questions, ma'am. I understand you were almost devoured by the ma'am. Is that right, dragon? It was terrible. He breathed fire on me. He burned me already. How can I be sure of that, ma'am? Believe me, I got it straight from the dragon's mouth. 11.45 p.m. I rode over the King's Highway. I saw a man. Stopped to talk to him. Pardon me, sir. Could I talk to you for just a minute, sir? Sure, I don't mind. What do you do for a living? I'm an Ave. Didn't I pick you up on a 903 last year for stealing tarts? Yeah, so what? Do you want to make a federal case out of it? No, sir. We heard that there was a dragon operating in this neighborhood. We just want to know if you've seen him. Sure, I've seen him. Mm-hmm. Could you describe him for me? What's to describe? You see one dragon, you've seen them all. Would you try to remember, sir? Just for the record, we just want to get the facts, sir. Well, he was, you know, he had orange polka dots. Yes, sir. Purple feet, bring fire and smoke. Mm-hmm. And one big bloodshot eye right in the middle of his forehead. And, and, and I like that. Notice anything unusual about him? No, he's just a run-of-the-mill dragon, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, you can go now. Hey, by the way, how are you going to catch him? I thought you'd never ask. A dragon gnat. Rio 5 p.m. I was riding back to the courtyard to make my report to the lab. Then it happened. It was the dragon. Hey, I'm the fire-breathing dragon. You must be St. George, right? Yes, sir. I can see you got one of them new 45 caliber swords. That's about the size of it. <laughs> <laughs> you sway me. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. What do you mean? I'm taking you in on a 502. You figure it out. What's the charge? Devouring maidens out of season. Out of season? You'll never pin that rap on me. Do you hear me, cop? Yeah, I hear you. I got you on a 412, too. A 412? What's up, 412? Overacting. Let's go. On September the 5th, the dragon was tried and convicted. His fire was put out and his maiden devouring license revoked. Maiden devouring out of season is punishable by a term of not less than 50 or more than 300 years. Thanks for listening to the Collie Wobbles Theater Company's rendition of Stan Freeberg's St. George and the Dragonette, a spoof, of course, on Dragnet, recorded first back in 1953. They actually used the same musicians to do the theme song from Dragnet, thanks to an approval from Jack Webb, but the trombones had a little trouble because they were laughing so hard in playing their music while this was going on. Our cast included Zach Puplis as the narrator and the chief, Alan Pilly as St. George, me, Carol Catherine, I played the damsel in distress, Pam Walker played the knave, and Dusty Umphrey played the classic The Dragon. Thanks to all. 
We've got more coming your way, so please comment below.